In this Image.tl version 10 tutorial video, we will be showcasing the GXP software package that is used in regulated labs that require a secure data environment. The software supports the need for traceability and control of the data. Specifically, we will be providing a basic overview of the admin tool showing how to configure both the secure folder and user permissions, providing an overview of the Image.tl GXP main hub where projects are created, analyzed, and approved, and finally, showing the entire analysis workflow from project creation and data import to sign-off and approval. We will begin with the Image.tl GXP admin tool, which is only accessible to users with administrator permissions, specifically the admin user who will be managing the Image.tl GXP software. The admin tool allows us to create and manage the secure folder, which is used to store images and experimental data. The secure folder also contains user data and respective roles and privileges for each user. The admin user who manages the ImageQuantTL GXP software creates and maintains this secure storage folder. The folder can be configured by choosing the location of that folder and also choosing to connect to it here. The admin tool also allows us to control the connectivity between the server and the client. And finally, the admin tool allows us to configure the users for the ImageQuantTL GXP software. To add a new user, you simply choose New User, and then we can choose to have a local user, or we can utilize the Windows Active Directory. Here, we can input the domain, as well as check the username by adding it here and then choosing Check Names. Once that name has been verified, you can then choose permissions for that individual user. For example, a generic user who will not need approval permissions will simply need the ability to add and check out a project, as shown here. Approvers will also need the ability to have QC, approve, and then optionally self-approve or emergency login. Next, we will be showing the Image.tl GXP main hub, where we will begin by logging in. In this case, I am logging in as a generic user with basic analysis permissions. Once logged in, the user can see all projects in the secure folder and filter them according to their date or their status. In this case, we are going to look at all active projects. We can also choose any project that we'd like to work on, so for example, I'll choose this top one here. Once a project has been selected, all of the recorded activities with that project are shown here on the right in chronological order. Depending on the user's permissions, their available actions are shown below. So for example, a generic user can check out this project for analysis, they can check out a read-only version of that project, or they can request sign-off for somebody with approval permissions to come in and approve the project. Finally, below, we can generate a report that shows all of the activities that have been done with this specific project. Now that we have introduced the Image.tl GXP main hub, we will show an overview of the analysis workflow. We will begin as a user who has already logged into the software, and here we will choose to create a new project. Here we can give the project a name, add any notes that we'd like to here, so if you want to talk about what type of sample that this is. And then we can click and drag to drop our files here underneath. You notice that after we uploaded this file that we have the word verified next to it. What this tells us is that this image was collected on an ImageQuant 800 GXP camera system with the GXP software. It also tells us that this image has not been manipulated since image capture. Next, we could choose to create our project. And once that project is created, we can then access the project here. You can see that that project was added here. And then once we have this project that we added, we can choose to check out that project to perform analysis. Once we checked out the project, you can choose to access all of our projects that have been checked out, which we can see here. Once we choose that project, we can see we have some particular actions that we can take on that project. So for example, we can cancel our checkout, we can check the project back in, we can analyze the project. If it's a multiplex image, you can create a multiplex with the additional channels that we have. You can access your working folder, 
We could inspect the file to check for any saturation or the quality of the image, and we could do any editing like cropping or rotating of the image. In this case, since we don't have to perform any editing to the image, we can go ahead and just choose Analyze as shown here. Once you choose Analyze, the actual image plot software to where we can perform our analysis then opens, and we can choose to perform our analysis. In this case, since it's an SDS page gel, we'll choose the gel and blot analysis. Once the image is open, we can see that once again, this image has passed the integrity test result. And what we have here is the analysis that we can perform. Since we have many tutorial videos showing the actual analysis, there's no need to go through the analysis process here. You can choose one of the other analysis process videos to choose the analysis that is most appropriate for what you are performing. Once the analysis is completed, we can go ahead and close this here and we can close the actual main hub that we see here as well. Once we go back to the GXP main hub that we see here, we can choose to check that image back in since we have performed our analysis. So we can go ahead and check the image back in, add any notes if you'd like to, and go ahead and click OK. Once we have checked that image back in, we can go ahead and go back to our active images here, and we can choose the project that we had just checked back in. Once we have checked the image back in, you can request sign off of this image right here. And here we can once again say, add any notes that you'd like to. Analysis was performed and click OK. Now this user is done performing their analysis, they can go ahead and sign out of the software. Next, we will log in as an approver who will go through the approval process of that image that was just analyzed. So here we have another generic account, just as user, but any individual user will just put in their credentials that they have. Go ahead and sign in. And now we can access all of our images that are awaiting sign-off. For example, we can choose this filter tab here. And we have the IQTL tutorial video that we had earlier that was just, that was just analyzed. So we can choose that image. And once that project is selected, we can see all of the activities that have been done with this image. So it was checked out by the user, checked back in, and then sign-off was requested. So now the actions that the approver can take they can check out a read-only version so they can see all the analysis that was performed. And then they can either cancel the sign-off request to reject the analysis, or they can choose to sign off. So once they've looked at the analysis, it looks good, they can go ahead and sign off on the image. Add in any notes that they need to, and then put in the password for the approver to once again verify that the analysis is approved. Once that is done, we can now see all of the activities that were done and that this project is now complete. This covers the basic analysis workflow from project creation to analysis approval.